All right, so we have our real speed sensor here, two pin Deutsch connector. Go ahead and unplug it and install our jumper. Hello everyone, and welcome to today's tech tip video. My name is Michael Carrier. I'm a field trainer here with Diesel Training. Today we'll be performing a continuity test. So if you like the information in today's video, please be sure and leave us a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you have any experience using any of the tools that we'll be talking about today, or you have a suggestion for a future tech tip video, please put that in the comment section. We would greatly appreciate that. And then of course, subscribe and be on the lookout for any new tech tip videos that we'll be putting out for you. Now there's a couple reasons you could be running a continuity test. One is to uh, just try and figure out if you possibly have a broken wire or an open circuit here in this harness, or you can also use it to help locate uh, a specific connector that you're looking for. Uh, and we'll start with that one. So first thing we have to do is turn on our multimeter and put it in the resistance setting. So here on this meter, underneath that omega symbol for resistance, you're going to have the sideways Wi-Fi looking icon. And that's just referencing the speakers on the multimeter. So we can click on that matching icon on this button at the top here. And now we have put our multimeter here into continuity mode. The thing about continuity mode on the multimeter is that up until about 40 ohms, you will get both an audible tone and a resistance measurement on the display on the multimeter. Now, when you go past 40 ohms up until about 400 ohms, you won't get the audible tone, but you will still get a resistance measurement. Now, once you exceed that 400 ohms, at that point, it will display OL. Now, that's not necessarily indicating that, hey, the wire is broke or the component has failed, you need to replace it or run an overlay. That's just indicating that we're past 400 ohms. So at that point, you'll have to decide if that circuit or component or whatever it is that you're testing, if you're expecting a measurement past 400 ohms. And if that's the case, you need to remove it from continuity mode and put it back to your resistance setting. When you put it back to the resistance setting, then you can take an actual resistance measurement and compare that to see if that is within spec or not for that component or circuit. So in this case, we're going to put it in a continuity mode, which we've already done, and now we will try and find our input shaft speed connector. I know it's a two pin Deutsch connector and I know on our TCM connector here, we're utilizing pin seven. So I already have my terminal test leads installed. Uh, so now I can go ahead and put them into the proper pins. If you want more information on our terminal test lead kit, be sure and check out our terminal test lead tech tip video. So we'll go ahead and put these in here. I'll put this one on pin seven. And then now I know I'm running to pin one on a two pin Deutsch connector. So I've got three of them here on the board. So we'll go ahead and start with the first one. We'll go to pin one. And so you hear no audible tone. It's not taking any measurements. Uh, so we'll go ahead and jump to the next one here. And nothing on this one either. And so we've got our last one down here. And there it is. You can hear that tone. We have continuity here, and this is definitely that two pin Deutsch connector I'm looking for, for my input shaft speed. That's letting us know that we have continuity on that wire uh, in this harness. So now if we want to go to pin two on this connector and see if we have continuity on that wire as well, while we're here, go ahead and swap this to pin eight, and I'll come back to my connector, slide it on that other pin, pin two, and then you can see here there's no audible beep, there's no measurements, it's displaying OL, we're out of limits, open loop. Uh, so there we have, most likely in this case, in this specific harness, a broken wire that we need to uh, repair or run an overlay from here. All right, so now that we've covered what a continuity test is and how to perform it, let's go ahead and take you guys into a real world application. And we've got a truck in the shop, so I'll grab my meter, my test lead kit, and I'll see you out in the shop. So now that we're out here on the truck, what we're going to do today is test continuity of our wheel speed sensor circuit. Now, before taking any resistance measurements or performing continuity tests, be sure that there is no voltage running through the circuit that you're going to be testing on. So we already have the batteries disconnected and our connector is already unplugged from the module. So we are all set to perform this test. Now, the first thing I'm going to do 
is take our test leads here and plug them into pins 15 and 18 of our connector. Now I know which pins to plug into because I looked up the wiring diagram on diesel repair. Now, with me plugged into pin 15 and 18, what I'm currently testing in continuity mode is the wire from this connector all the way down the truck, through the wheel speed sensor, and then the next wire all the way back to this connector. Now, if you look at our continuity reading here, we're getting OL, out of limits or open loop. Now, the wheel speed sensor that we're working with, the spec that we're looking for is from 900 to 2000 ohms. And in that case, that is well above the 400 ohm threshold for the continuity test mode. So what I need to do is put it back into resistance and measure that resistance. So when I click the button twice, we're getting about 1600 ohms of resistance here. So now let's go ahead and check the continuity of the wires in the circuit. So to do that, we're going to unplug the wheel speed sensor and install a jumper. Now this is the easier way to do it. This way I don't have test leads being drawn across the truck where I could possibly trip on them or snatch them out while I'm trying to take my reading. All right, so we have our wheel speed sensor here, two pin Deutsch connector. Go ahead and unplug it and install our jumper. So now we have our jumper installed. We can come back to our multimeter, put it back into continuity mode. And you can hear that audible beep letting us know that we have continuity and both wires in this wheel speed sensor circuit. Now, if you got to this point and you're taking that continuity reading at this point and you got an OL, that's letting you know that you now have an open loop and one of those wires is broken, you have an open circuit. So then you need to check each wire independently. So now at this point, we need to break out our lead extensions, run them down and put one lead at the end of that wire Bring your other lead and put it in the correct pin terminal here to test each wire independently. So you can find out which wire is broken and that way you can make the repair. Thank you all for tuning in with Diesel Laptops today. If you liked what you saw in today's video, be sure and leave us a like. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or even possibly a suggestion for a future tech tip video, please leave that in the comment section. We greatly appreciate it. And then of course, make sure you subscribe and check out all of the tech tip videos that we'll be putting out for you.